what this signifies is realizing that gay people are no different than anyone else. It's a major step forward. Rules that kept some people from donating blood because of their sexuality have eased at donation clinics in two Canadian cities, including this one right here in Calgary. We were demeaned as a community uh, when we were being singled out not to donate blood because we do understand that there is a high need for blood. A submission by Canadian Blood Services allows clinics in Calgary and London to take part in allowing men who have sex with men and some transgender people to donate blood plasma, which is held for 60 days and then tested for things like HIV and other sexually transmitted infections. In the coming weeks, they'll put forward a new submission asking for the wait time to be dropped and to stop asking transgender people if they've had gender-affirming surgeries, something uncomfortable and sometimes traumatic for this group. It's not just gay men who choose to be either monogamous or not. Um, we all make that choice in our lives. These rules are remnants of the high rates of HIV and AIDS in the 1980s. In 1992, a lifetime ban was introduced in Canada. In 2013, men who abstained from sex for at least five years could donate. Times have changed. We not only now have these uh, really efficient antiviral medications, but we also have a product called PrEP, which uh, if taken regularly by anyone, having sex with multiple partners will prevent them from actually contracting HIV. Treatments now allow people with HIV to be undetectable for the virus. And undetectable has been shown in research to mean that you cannot pass on the virus to somebody else. If this submission by CBS is accepted, questions won't revolve around gender or sexuality, but more so sexual behavior. A move similar to one in 2005, when same-sex marriages in several provinces, including Alberta, finally became legal. I think this is an extension of that, the feeling that we're not being singled out. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.